welcome back to another review on the on the Hulk series of bill of figures we have the war machine that's the only one that doesn't come with a bill of figure part isn't that isn't that awesome he's special so so you can see on the box he's from Marvel Legends made by Hasbro Hasbro makes a lot of good stuff and you can see on the box that he there's other figures in the other figures in the line. I actually have Rock Python. You guys, you guys could. We, I will soon go look on a review on him. But anyway, he's from some of the Avengers kind of thing. And uh, I, I really like War Machine. His name is awesome, and I like all the weapons he comes with. Now, um. You can see the artwork there. I, I I really love the artwork. I think I think my sister Emma would. You should would you should watch Emma's reviews too. She she's an artist slash collector, and uh, she collects like things like aliens, Marvel Legends, Transformers, some gujitsu's that she was that she likes, and what else? Further ado, let's open it up and let's see how warm she does. And here's our shoot. package looking cool as ever. And you can see what I like about this figure is that look at that he's chunky. Look at his chunky armor, and I like how these things are are rubber, so then he could move that well, and that he has three guns on him on arms and and on his shoulder but I don't like about this figure is that nothing really have a crunch but but that's why they but they instead added a little chest swivel right there which I'll show you for articulation soon anyway and and I still, this figure is awesome. Let me just show you what his accessories are like. Accessories, he comes with two of the same type of gun right there. And he comes with this gun with a little, like, peg right, right there. Let me see if I could... Hold on. Okay, he has a little peg right there that can connect to a part of his body, like right there. And what I just noticed was about this gun, it has something like has that thing right there. What I what I did once when I got my war machine, I. I put that on his hand because it was it was open and it looked like it could fit in there. Boom. Moving on. Moving on to articulation. Uh. It goes down. Goes up. Uh. If you can try, you can, you can do. Keep it there. That way it could go through full three six three sixty. Arm could go three sixty. Could go out that much. Pretty good for for a figure that's this big. Has elbow rotation right there. And I one jointed elbow, unfortunately. It can it can swivel. Swivel right there. Hand can go 360, can go up, can go down. Uh, swivel at the chest, so I have the chest right there instead of ab crunch. They could go forward that much, back that much, at that much, so I the thigh. Double drawing knee, I could go all the way to his back. Boom. I love it. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he has that much of a foot joint or angle rock pivot just like like a little like a little small one right there 
little, very, very, very small. Very, very small. Now I'm going to, this, this gun goes there. And these same guns, okay. These same guns go uh, right there. And right in there. And now he is fully gunned up right, fully gunned up right there. You can just go chuk chuk and chuk chuk and chuk chuk and go. That's my sound for a machine gun right there. One more time. Good evening. Size of this figure. He is standing about right at the seven inches tall. Pretty tall for a figure like in Marvel Legends. And for a size comparison, here he is right next to the Rock Python. He is huge war machine. War machine is huge. Right there. And here he is right next to my boy Nightcrawly. I like I said, he he is tall. Like I said before, he is huge. Look at him. Huge as ever! Look! Wow! Oh, he could like smash him with his thigh. Or his head. Right, like right there. And here he is right next to a Spider-Man figure. Spider-Man's my favorite. Very tall. And here he is right next to your average G.I. Joe beachhead and that almost about the same height. He is pretty. Beach head is pretty. Pretty tall. And that was it for my day's review of War Machine. If you guys, if you guys like those normal people who wait for sales to go wait for a sale for this guy, but he is a part of the Hulk wave, but he doesn't come with a figure part. So he is super hard to find. You can usually find him at like comic cons or that comic shop in the Silverdale Mall. So I'd say buy it when you see it. Don't wait for a sale. He is, he will be gone in seconds. So anyway, I love this. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, give us some views. A okay, and wherever you are, me as a bounty hunter, I will always catch you. Enjoy your toys. War, War Machine, out.